I have a document open here called shoppingbag.psd, which you can find from the working folder. The aim of this exercise is to take a logo and to drop it into a perspective that we'll create with the aim of making it look so it was printed on the bag already. So we've got the original photograph that I took of the brown paper bag in the background layer. And then I've imported already something called logo. Now, unfortunately, this feature will not allow you to take a smart object into Vanishing Point and protect it and do all the wonderful things that we can do, which is a shame, but it's still a good feature. So what we have to do is what feels the most unnatural thing ever, and that's to make sure the layer where the content is is active. Go to select and choose all to make sure everything in that layer is uh, selected. And then you go to edit and you choose cut. I know just doesn't feel right whatsoever. Then what we need to do is go to filter and go down to vanishing point. When you click on that, it's going to take you to another full screen editor. The tool that you need is called the uh, create plane tool. It's activated by default. And the first thing you do is you make your perspective plane. So you trace over the image essentially to match um, a face or a, a plane. Now we're going to use the upper section of this brown bag at the front to put the logo onto into perspective. So I'm going to hover at the top. This tool works just like the polygonal lasso tool. So it's a series of left clicks. I'm going to left click here, hover across, left click here, down to the crease of the bag, left click, and then finally over here and left click once more. Ideally, what you're looking for is a grid that's colored blue. That means that you've got a perspective which is matches very closely a real world, real life perspective. You might notice that your mesh is maybe a slight different size to mine. There's nothing really uh, kind of a good or a bad in terms of size in here. It is literally there, the grid for you to decide um, if you want the grid to be a little bit bigger. You can do it's just for basically trying to get things lined up and looking where you've got edges and lines that might meet with one another. Just something a little bit easier to measure by eye, essentially. So just change the grid size to what you feel is useful. And then at this point, you're probably thinking, right, where's the button to add artwork? And there isn't. And then you're thinking, I'll go to edit and then choose paste. But you can't because it's grayed out. So you have to use the keyboard shortcut of command V or control V on a PC. It pastes your cut artwork always into the top left corner, hover your cursor over it, click on it and drag it down. And then it'll pop into perspective and you can position it in there like so. And then around about there should be fine. And then when you're done, you can click OK. And it puts the artwork back into the layer where it came from. So it's very important that once you've cut your artwork, don't go clicking in the layers panel in here into a different layer. It puts it back into the layer that you cut it from. If you don't click on anything else. And there you go. So that is a really neat way of being able to drop your logo into a perspective.